Can yeah. I quickly do the rebound with Catherine Beta Blocker? Well, you certainly can. So the, so the Catherine Beta Blocker new film, the rebound story, is uh, she is a mother living with a husband. Turns out at the beginning of the film, husband is a philandering git. She decides to dump him to move with her children to New York City to start a new life. Uh, is she going to be able to start a new life? Well, I don't know. Interestingly enough, her eye is caught by somebody who's working in the local coffee shop who is half her age. She needs a babysitter. But you know what? Maybe he's going to turn out to be more than a babysitter. Anyway, here's a quick clip of Catherine Beta Blocker in the rebound. I found an apartment. Wow, you're fast. It's not great. But my husband won't be there, so that's a plus. How are you so well adjusted? All those years with the PTA, I have no other choice. How's the job search? I got one. Fact checker at SNN. Are unbelievable. You're almost fully healed. You know, everyone says what a nightmare it is to get divorced. I feel fine. No residual or anything? No. This is the best thing that ever happened to me. Trapped in some suburban hell, same thing day after day, like a hamster on a wheel. So the thing about this is, it's actually... I mean, I went in expecting not very much at all. And coming out thinking, well, you know what, I enjoyed it kind of more than I thought I was going to. Firstly, the fact that it's a... What do they call them? May-September romances. And you usually see that the other way around. It's usually like Woody Allen and, um, you know, Mariel Hemingway. Or, or you know, the, the, the age gap is usually the other way. So it's quite nice to see that reversed. OK, firstly. Secondly, Catherine Zeta-Jones is a strange screen presence because she's kind of... You know, she's icy and chilly and, and removed in some way, in ways that I, in the past I have not found entirely easy to empathize with. Funnily enough, in this film, she does have a certain degree of comic charm that she uses rather well, and she plays an awkward, spiky character in a way that seems perfectly appropriate for the role. So I actually thought she was not bad at all in it. There are certain parts of the film that seem to have, you know, a kind of casual uh, comic honesty, which I quite like. They are, however, balanced against moments of very broad and very ill-judged comedy, none more so than the scene in which she goes out on the first date with somebody who is thought by her contemporaries to be an appropriate partner. And in order to demonstrate that he's not appropriate at all, and in fact what she should be doing is sending her affections towards this much younger man, he, the, the guy that she goes out on a date with, there's a, suddenly a whole subplot about him constantly going off into toilets to go to the loo at great length and then not washing his hands. And it seems to be something that's come out of an utterly different film. I mean, it's a, it's bowel humour in the middle of what otherwise is a sort of strange wrong. And it's broad. And the screening that I was in, a couple of people laughed and shrieked, but I think a few more people went, well, why are, we, why are you doing these gags now? It's almost like you've lost confidence in the central thing. The other thing that's wrong with it is in its third act, it goes off into montage hell. There is a montage in the third act, which is unforgivable and is really one of the worst montages I've ever seen and there is also an interesting screen widget which is that as the film progresses it's necessary for other people to grow up but for Catherine Beta Blocker to remain exactly the same age so actually what happens during the course of the movie is at the beginning of it the age gap between her and the young man is let's say you know 10 by the end of the film it's about three he's aging but she doesn't appear to be it's like you know what's that film uh, Benjamin Button you know, they're meeting in the middle. The Curious Tale the of... The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Um, but so, but hang on, yeah. it's finished. That said, mm. it's not without chuckles. It's not without a certain degree of laughs. It was perfectly passable. And I mean, there, there is an awful lot wrong with it. But I thought it was absolutely fine in places.